Now to some closure for a grieving mother. Police arrested the man suspected of killing her son in a hit and run crash, but this happened more than two years ago. And as KGW's Mike Bennett reports, chances are it would still be unsolved if not for a woman who reached out to police. His smile, his laugh, his caring attitude. That's what Linda Hunter misses most about her son, Daniel Ramsey. Ramsey was killed in a hit and run crash more than two years ago. He was a very caring, very special human being. And he had a long life to live and his and he was loved by lots of people. It was November 26, 2017. Ramsey and his girlfriend were crossing North Fessenden when a speeding car slammed into Ramsey, killing him. His girlfriend was uninjured. Investigators managed to find surveillance video of the suspect vehicle, but they were never able to track down the driver. It's just been kind of rough trying to keep everything together. Years of wondering ended Thursday with the arrest of Luis Silva Echeverria Navarrete. The 22-year-old made his first court appearance Friday afternoon. But chances are the suspect would still be a free man had it not been for a woman who contacted police with a wild story. It's all laid out in these court documents. The woman told investigators that Navarrete was at her house just last week and he confessed to striking and killing a pedestrian two years earlier. The woman recorded part of that confession and turned it over to detectives. Needless to say, Ramsey's mother is grateful. Thank you very much for turning him in and I hope that he sits in jail for a long last time. That's yet to be determined. What is clear is that Ramsey's family finally has the closure they've been seeking for years. People will be, start to heal because there is actually a base to the person that did it. In addition to manslaughter and reckless driving charges, Navarrete is also charged with DUII. Now, you may be wondering how investigators know he was impaired since this happened more than two years ago. Well, it turns out that after the hit and run, Navarrete drove his girlfriend home to Hillsboro and got into a second wreck. He didn't run from this one. Police were called and he was arrested. His BAC was 0.17. That's more than twice the legal limit. Dan. Mike Benner, thank you. Class